Hello everyone, we will continue the topic O data and we are covering O data service creation steps. And in the previous videos, we finished with all the five steps for O data service creation. Only execution and test part is left because that is not a step. We will simply execute and test the service. So what we did? We simply created the project first. If you remember, we created the project. After that, we created the data model. We generated the runtime artifacts. We have written the logic as a part of implement the service step. We registered the service and we studied both the ways to register the service. The last thing is we just need to test or we need to execute the service. But into this particular video, we will understand or we will go for a detailed understanding of system alias. Where you can check the system alias, what are the various system alias defined. So what is system alias? It is a shortcut for your SAP system. SAP is in the backend and in the last video we covered Yes, system alias is just like a shortcut for your SAP backend system. In real projects, we have multiple SAP system in the backend. Whenever you will register a OData service, you need to pass the system alias. System alias is ultimately you are passing the SAP system because your OData service will bring that data from that particular SAP system. Otherwise, if there is no concept of system alias, there is no concept to provide the SAP system, then system will con then this OData service will con confuse that it has to bring the data from which particular system. That's why whenever you are registering the OData service, provide the system alias so that it can bring the data from that particular SAP system. Now, where, where you can check the system alias. So we have a dedicated transaction code. So what is the transaction code? Slash UI2 slash GW underscore SYS underscore alias. System alias gateway for system alias you can remember by this way slash ui2 if i will go for this particular transaction code and show you now if i will go for slash o slash this particular transaction code now you can see the title bar is itself manage sap system aliases Never, never do any system alias by your own. Suppose if you are doing for learning purpose also, it's a humble request. Do not touch whatever the system you are doing the practice. Please connect with your system administrator or provider that you want a system alias if there is no system alias available. Because anyways, if you will go for F for help, you will be able to see the system alias. Suppose if I will go to add service, I have chosen my inbox, but if I will go for F for help, I'm able to see the system alias. And you can see these are the three system alias available. Yes. So anyways, whatever the system you are doing, the practice system alias will be there. But if nothing is there, because you don't know what are the various things you need to put. So please check with your system provider or administrator. They will provide the system alias. And in real projects, there is nothing for us to worry. Because in real project, we have the real infrastructure. So you will be able to see the real system alias and you can use that system alias. Now, if you do, do not want to go by this way, Suppose if you do not want to go by this particular transaction code. So just what you can do, go for SM30 transaction code. Suppose if you want to go by this way, you can go by this way also. You can go to SM30 transaction code. This is the name of the view. 
if you pass this particular view now simply click on to edit or maintain button you can see we are able to see same to same kind of screen so this is the way or this is the transaction code with the help of this transaction code sap basis person or system administrator maintain the system alias and we are simply simply using those system alias now we will go for another important point and this question will come into so many people mind okay people will say whenever you showed us the first way whenever you showed us the first way to register the old data service at that time you have not passed any system alias yes whenever you have shown us the second way yes at that time you are passing the system alias that we understood but whenever you are going by first way at that time which system alias this which particular system alias it will put put it will just pick because here we are not passing any system alias so what i will do i will just delete then i will simply generate by this way and show you which system alias it is picking suppose if i will go for deletion suppose if i will go for filter this is the transaction code sorry this is the technical service name sorry now i will simply remove this is the system alias you see which i provide yes i am removing i am simply deleting now i am deleting the registration now i will do the registration again by the first and then I will show you which system alias it is picking. Because in the first way, there is no provision to provide the system alias. That's why I am saying this second way is always preferred by so many people. Yes. Sorry. Suppose I am going for this particular project service maintenance now i am doing the registration now you can see there is no registration i will simply click on to register service now i will simply go for local object now i will go for okay there is no provision to pass the alias but now we need to check it is registered for which particular system alias. So I will simply go to this transaction code. Slash n slash iwfnd slash maint underscore service. will go for filter. I will pass. Now you can see system pick my inbox. I have not passed but yes system is picking my inbox now if you see the system alias now you can see this is the system alias my inbox and it is for which particular system just see a4 h and 100 and what is my system a4 h and 100 yes so this is the way how it is picking and anyways people always prefer the second way to register the service with the help of this transaction code so there's nothing for you to worry yes which system alias it is picking because if you are going for second way yes you have a provision to pass the system alias with the help of f4 help so what is the summary of this particular video in this video, yes, we went into detailed understanding of system alias. Because whenever you will register a service, you need to tell SAP that yes, your old data service is below your old data service belongs to this particular system alias. This old data service belongs to this particular SAP system. Because in real project, you have multiple SAP system. If you are not providing the system alias or system name, you if I'll go for the best word, then OData service will confuse. 
that it has to bring the data from which particular SAP system. So we are registering into that particular system alias. It means that particular SAP system. Now, whenever you want to see the system alias, you can simply check with the help of this transaction code. If you do not want to go by this transaction code, go for SM30 and pass the name of this particular view. Never maintain system alias by your own. If you are doing for learning purpose, check with your system provider or administrator. They will maintain the system alias for you and you can use. If you are working in real projects, there is nothing for you to worry, yes, because system alias will always, always be there. You can use those system alias, but do not touch the existing system. Please, please take the help of system provider or administrator. Then after that, people will ask the question, yes, in the first way of register the OData service, you have not provided any system alias, then which system alias it is picking, yes, so I simply deleted it and registered the service again. And I showed you it is simply picking my inbox because this system alias is for this particular SAP system and client number. So it is picking this. And anyways, second way is always, always preferable. So there's nothing for you to worry. Just check the F for help of the system alias and pass. Now in the next video, we'll simply, simply execute or test our OData service and that will finish our first simple example of full, full detailed example of our creation of OData service. So that's it in this video. Thank you.